What's up, internet? Pagdating sa computers, ang dami mga specs. Gigahertz, refresh rate, watts, VRAM. But regardless kung ano yung computer mo, whether entry level or high end, may isang spec that rules them all. The most important spec for any computer is the price. And of course, here at Hardware Sugar, we're a computer shop. We want you to buy from us. But at the same time, Mahirap din tapatan paminsan yung mga prices ng ibang mga shops. I don't know how they do it. And here at the YouTube channel, we want you to get value for money even if you don't get from us. So once a month, we have a regular video na sinasurvey, sinasuri talaga natin from last year pa all the way up to the present yung prices ng apat na pinakamalaking computer retailers in the country. We check the prices for CPUs and GPUs, and that resource is for free. You can check it in the Google Sheet, link down below. So even if you don't buy from us, even if you don't buy from those four other retailers, at least based on that survey, may ballpark figure ka na on how much a CPU or a GPU might cost. But before we get to hardware prices, you might want to know about software prices. At itong sponsor natin may good deal sa Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation. Tawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mo na sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na cdkey ka na para sa windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati? Sudden depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life! Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor! So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. First of all, I need to admit I've been a bit delinquent. Usually, ginagawa ko once a week and kita man sa data all the way back from October 15. But as we jump to last month, the last update ko was March 31. <laughs> And then the next update, the next data points we have is April 26. So that's about a month interval. But considering the difficulty of doing it once a week, I'm thinking of doing it every two weeks na lang. So bale, bi-monthly. Because the data doesn't need to be that granular. I mean, not sure it helps anybody really because the price differences between weeks is so minute. Perhaps during peak season, like the holidays, baka balik natin to once a week. But moving forward, we'll do it once every two weeks and you'll notice also a big change here this used to be 3080 data ngayon ginawa ko ng 4070 because the 4070 has just been released it's roughly around the same performance as the 3080 tapos mas mura siya yung last price natin for the 3080 was 41,000 basically tapos yung average price niya ngayon is for the 4070 is around 38,500 so, quite a significant price difference for a newer card. You're also getting DLSS 3 with the uh, 4070. So, we're tiring the data. We're no longer tracking the 3080. And actually, it was becoming difficult to find prices for the 3080. I'm not quite sure what people have been doing. The supply of 3080, even from different brands, has been quite hard to find recently. Basically, since end of February, we've only had one data point for the 3080. Only one shop out of the four we track was actually selling it. So we've updated this data point from 3080 to 4070. And this change is actually good news for those looking for a high-end graphics card because the 4070 is cheaper than the 3080. And by a significant margin, around 8% or so. Going through the prices, actually all NVIDIA cards have gone down from... Last month, the 1650 is now around 300 pesos lower. The 3050 is around five, 700 pesos or so lower. Same, 600 pesos or so lower for the 3060. The 4070, as mentioned, is around 3,000 pesos less than the 3080. No price difference for the 4080 and actually a price increase for the 4090. 
interesting to see that on the higher end, there isn't much price variance or even the price goes up. But on the lower end for NVIDIA cards, there's been a lot of movement. Surprisingly also, the 6500 XT of AMD got slightly more expensive. I would have thought it would have been price drops all the way. Pero market siya konti. The 6700 XT hasn't changed, but really the data point of this is just one shop, I think. Sorry, it's two shops, but this hasn't changed for a while now. Basically, it's the same two shops and they haven't sold their inventory. The 7900 XTX has actually gone up a little bit. My viewpoint has always been that AMD prices always just go down. But we're seeing actual price increases slightly, even on lower end previous generation cards like the 6500 XT. What usually doesn't change though are CPUs. And you can see that with the data, 7950X hasn't changed, 7600X hasn't changed. Actually, the only thing that has changed is a price increase in the Ryzen 5 3600. Almost a 10% increase actually. So a bit surprising because it is an older CPU. Perhaps demand has picked up a little bit because the 7000 series is a little expensive. The 5000 series is actually good value for money, but for total peso amount, it's still hard to beat the prices of the 3000 series. On the Intel side, there has been no change in the three CPU prices we're tracking. On the CPU front, one CPU that we haven't been tracking, but it's garnering a lot of re good reviews is the 7800X3D of AMD. The price is a little bit high, but not too bad. Especially for a performance CPU that is aimed towards gaming. Definitely it's cheaper than the 3900K and it's cheaper than the 7950X. So for gaming, the most expensive CPU isn't necessarily the best performing one. Final note on GPUs, if you're thinking of going with a 10 series GPU or even a 3050 or a 3060, now honestly seems like a good time to buy. The prices have been going down steadily. If you had bought early March, you would have paid around 10,000 for a 1650. Now it's down to around 9,500. And you know, we're talking about like a 500 difference here and there, but that's a 5% difference right there. Same thing with the 3050 and a slightly lower price decrease for the 3060. Take note that the 3060s we've listed are all the 12 gigabyte variant. We don't list the prices for the eight gigabyte. 12 gigabyte is a bit more expensive, but for the increase in DRAM that you get, sulit na yung slightly higher price. So conclusions for this month's episode of Price Watch. Yes, now is a good time to buy for particular Nvidia GPUs. Yung AMD medyo tumaas konte. For CPUs, not much change in prices, but there are new entries on the market. For example, the 7800X3D. As always, you don't need to wait for the episode to drop on YouTube. This Google Sheet is accessible 24-7 and it's publicly shared. We will update it once every two weeks and you can see the shops, the price differences. So for Wedge, a lot of price movement downward, good thing for us. Wash, just a price decrease for the 1650. Joker has the 1650 and the 3050 at a lower price. And then lower prices for 3050 and 3060 from Roy. And the price drops have been across the board. For Wedge, there have been a lot of price drops except for the 4090 slight increase. Roy has price drops for the 3050, 3060. Joker price drops for the 1650 and 3050. And Wash price drop for the 1650. So if prices haven't gone down, they basically remain the same except for the 4090 and only from one particular store. Same story with the CPUs, either price drop or prices have remained the same. If you are thinking of buying and go ahead with it, enjoy your purchase. If you just bought and you saw that the prices now are lower than when you bought, wag ka enjoy pa rin. That's basically how I look at buying computer parts kasi hindi mo talaga ma-predict, akyat yan, bababa yan. So you try to do your research with resources like PriceWatch, make the best decision possible at the time. Magbabago talaga yun. Take control of the things you can take control of, and one of those is your enjoyment of the part that you bought. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. 
Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.